Well, the sign is up on the front of the building for Alexandria Brewing Company, but the owners tell me it took a long time and a long journey to get to this point. Right here's our main brew house. Uh, it just has a little bit more work to be done to it and it'll be ready to go. To understand how far Andy Reynolds has come. It's in the service and um, spent some time in Germany and that got me into, I guess, better beer. You have to understand his past. In 7, 2008, I got deployed to Iraq and we weren't allowed alcohol. He started with cider and when he returned home, it was on to home brewing. His dream of owning a brewery was in reach until a roadblock. I went from trying to get this thing off the ground to spending every cent I had on hospital bills. Chronic pancreatitis on top of PTSD and a traumatic brain injury from an IED while in Iraq. Pretty much became a shut in, I guess, and I uh, didn't leave the house very often and my wife kind of got sick of it. And was in a deep, dark place, a bad funk. Anna Reynolds enrolled him in the Wounded Warriors Project. From there, he would set goal after goal. Just to go to brewing school because I knew it was something I always wanted to do. Brewing beer helped calm his PTSD. He found a passion in it. With each goal reached. I'm so proud of how far he has come um, throughout this whole process. It's, it's amazing. Andy sees his new future. An opening day slated for April 21st. They're hoping to have 16 beers on tap. Three of our flagships are Belgian, so it's a Belgian wit, two Belgian Trappists, one's a quad and one's a triple. Andy knows his past has tapped into his future. No matter what, you put one foot in front of the other. No matter how down you get, no matter how hard things get, you just keep putting that foot forward and marching on. In Alexandria, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.